What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 4 and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today, people, we're going to keep on talking about Call of Duty World War II. And by the way, the gameplay in the background, it is some old school ass Modern Warfare 3. You know, back in the day when I had so much fun and also it was boots on the ground. And it was just amazing, man. I remember back in the day, there was something called the Call of Duty Elite app. Man, I miss that because I remember they gave you like little badges for your clan. And also in the game, they gave you this title, like of a gorilla. Once you get to like little clan level 50, they gave you this badass tag. Like it was amazing, man. I remember those old school days. I miss them so much, man. Modern Warfare 3 was a hell of a time. It's just that it was a lag fest 24-7. The freaking servers were so unstable. But anyways, it was a fun time overall. If you guys want to see my old school contents about Modern Warfare 3, just go back into my old videos. You should, you should be able to spot some of them in there. And also, a little bit of a warning, most of these commentary videos that I used to do for Modern Warfare 3 are pretty much cringy as fuck. I admit it, they're cringy. I don't want to see them again. But the gameplay though, pretty much solid. I used to wreck out there, man. But anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, Call of Duty World War 2 might have might have and I'm predicting this they might have a very very special edition and this edition was also in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare now I'm pretty sure 80% of y'all do know that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was made by Sledgehammer Games right I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this because I know most of the new crowd don't even know nothing about Advanced Warfare instead they barely started in Infinite Warfare and in Black Ops 3 so they know nothing about Advanced Warfare so that's why I keep saying like, hey, probably like around 80% of the people know this. But anyways, you know, I know the, the people that, that played Advanced Warfare know that there was an edition called Day Zero. And what is this Day Zero edition of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? It was a 24-hour early access of the game. And also it gave you some of the bonuses like uh, double XP for 24 hours and also some skins and some extra attachments for your weapons. And it wasn't some bad stuff. It's actually pretty good. You know, they were pretty much, it's pretty much sounded like they care about the gamers for half, for half of the time there. But too bad it was futuristic though. I did so bad in Advanced Warfare to be honest, except for the second half of the year. I pretty much ended up breaking with the ASM1. But anyways, but you guys get the point. Like they released an edition called Day Zero. My thought is, since Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was made by Sledgehammer Games, and they did this kind of stuff, and also it was the first time ever in the whole Call of Duty history that they ever done this, a 24-hour early access edition. And my thoughts are, they might actually do it for Call of Duty World War II. Seeing that it's going to go back to boots on the ground and they need, they need the most people as possible to come back, and it's a good marketing strategy, they are probably going to do it. We might get a Call of Duty World War II Day Zero Edition. Hopefully it happens, man, because, you know, back to boots in the ground, old school style, old school weapons, and we want to level up as fast as possible, like that will be the time to do it. So hopefully it happens, and hopefully it's not called Day Zero Edition, because I know in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the Day Zero Edition has something to do with the story. And then if they're going to do it with Call of Duty World War II, they better, call, they better call it like something like, uh, I don't know, Call of Duty World War II Doomsday Edition. That had something to do with the freaking World War II right there. So it's something to totally check out. Hopefully it happens because that's going to give us 24-hour early access to the freaking old school times of World War II and play with the Thompson, play with the M1 Grand, play with all these old school weapons. It's going to be a total fun time, man. I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna, nothing bad is going to happen with this game and it's going to be freaking good. Hopefully the servers aren't shit as freaking Modern Warfare 3, man. I kind of I kind of wanted to admit that the servers in Modern Warfare 3 were so terrible. Like, they really were. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. What do you guys think about this idea or this prediction? Do you think it's going to happen? You know, Call of Duty World War 2 Doomsday Edition, which pretty much means they're going to give you 24 hours of early access to the game. Full content, nothing cut out, the story mode is there, multiplayer, zombies, and everything. Do you think that would be a good idea? And do you guys think it's going to happen? So that is it, people. If you guys want to see more predictions of Call of Duty World War II, leave a like on the video and also leave a comment. Let me know that you're still there. So that is it. If you guys want to see some other content too, I'm uploading Horizon Zero Dawn and it's also some more uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So that's what I'm doing so far in uh, my spare time. Uh, my time away from Call of Duty, pretty much. So... That is it, guys. If you guys want to see some more stuff, please subscribe for more. It's going to be more crazy stuff.